Hi everybody, today I wanna to talk about working out, exercise, and gut health. How, how does that factor in into your IBS, Crohn's, and colitis? I think a lot of people have this idea that if they just do more healthy things, like if they eat healthier, if they walk more, if they go to the gym more, they just behave more like a healthy person, uh, that they will just, that their IBS, Crohn's, and colitis will magically go away. Now, if you want all the details for what I did to get better, then go down in the description and click on the link for my webinar, and I'll show you everything that I did. It also signs you up for my email newsletter where I share with you a ton of like free information that you won't get anywhere else. So I want you to think about this. There are professional athletes that, that they don't get IBS, Crohn's, or colitis until halfway into their professional athletic career. They are professional athletes. You will never be in as good shape as them, ever. They work out multiple times a day. They have the most athletic people in the world managing them and competing against them to keeping them in peak performance. You will never be that healthy. And so why would somebody like them, if, if working out factored into the equation, why would those people get IBS, Crohn's, and colitis spontaneously? It's not spontaneous. Um, something actually very specific happened. I see a lot of sports people uh, come down with you know, these gut conditions. It's because it's caused by a conflict shock. Imagine uh, you make all your money playing professional hockey. And then one day during your games or one night during your games, you take a slap shot to the face and you can't play anymore. That's the shock. Like, and then you wake up and you realize, oh my God, I can't play hockey anymore and I can't support uh, my, my wife and my kids. Or you, you, you snap your ankle or something like that. Let's say you're playing uh, high school football and you, you fumble the ball, the other team picks it up and they score and you lose the Super Bowl. Or you lose the homecoming game and your girlfriend breaks up with you. It's how, this is how these conflict shocks start. Maybe the morsel is I can't get the football or I can't get the hockey puck. I can't digest the hockey puck. No matter what I do, my coach won't give me any play time. Like this, this is how we need to start looking at this instead of obsessing about uh, food and, and whatever else we got on our plate. But I do want to give you guys some advice. There's a lot of people, this car has been coming down the road for like 10 minutes now. I do want to give you some advice on how to work out if you have IBS, Crohn's or colitis. Like what are some of the things you should do? Uh, how you should work out if you have IBS, Crohn's or colitis because uh, the gym culture uh, can be a little, not, not be productive. And, and when you watch these high performing gym athletes, they're always going to the brink for the pump and you know, going till exhaustion. They can do that, that is their job. That is what they're trying to do and they probably don't do that all the time. They're just doing that because it'd be extremely boring to watch what they do. They're just doing that for the camera and for the views. When you are sick, your body is expending a ton of energy trying to heal this. Okay? So, you, like you literally just want to work out until you get winded and then you need to stop and rest and let your body recover. If you are sore after the gym, you worked out too much. Okay? If you can't go to the gym, or maybe you're traveling, just get these rubber bands. These rubber bands can do a lot. This is, this is the same resistance, like even this, even this tiny band, like if I'm trying to do bicep curls, okay, yeah, that's really easy. I'm doing bicep curls. That's really easy. All right, let's put two in there. Things all over the place. All right, all right that's like 20 pounds probably. Instead of carrying a 40 pound dumbbell in my bag, I got a half pound, oh yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. 
there. That's like uh, right there, just doubling it up. I'm probably at 40 or 50 pounds right now. All right, I'll stop showing off. So, you know, that's a very easy workout routine for you right there, just doing everything. Like, there's things that you can only do on bands that you can't do on a machine. You can get a pretty nice body with these bands. You can get a pretty good workout with just this band. You don't even need the other ones. Um, whew, I'm a little cold. Welcome to Northern New York. Yeah, guys, you, you need to focus on the conflict that put your gut into overdrive. Like, it's, it's great to work out, but don't kill yourself while you're working out. You wanna, you, you, if you have to, if you collapse like when you get home from the gym, you worked out too much. If you're shaking like this when you're walking down the stairs because you did too many squats, like, you need to take it easy. Your body is already under enough stress. Take it easy. Take it easy. And, whew, it's, it's hard to think when it's this cold. I think it's like 40 or 30 degrees right now. And the cars are distracting me as the cars go by. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, sign up for the webinar. Tons of free information in the emails. Tons of everything I did to get better inside that webinar. Absolutely free. It's going to be better than most paid, all pretty much all paid courses, let's be honest. Um, Whew, I can't think, it's too cold. All right, if you have any questions, let me know down below. Do crunches. You have gut disease because you don't have abs. Okay, well, why, why is there a ton of fat people who don't have Crohn's disease, huh? Riddle me that. Why is there a bunch of skinny nerds that don't have muscles? They, like, oh, if I'm just, if I'm just healthy and if I just work out, you know, I'll just, I'll just be healthy and my gut will be healthy. It's not how this works. Learn German New Medicine. A conflict shock. Put specifically your gut into overdrive. All right. Sign up for that webinar. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.